fancy that. I don't fancy that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> This obviously uh, given way and they put like another another top reinforcement bridge, bridge, a new bridge over the top of this. But this was the original bridge that's collapsed. Yeah. A lot of pigeons. Yeah. Pigeon Haven, this. Where are they, Danny? I haven't seen it. See oh, yeah, yeah. Pigeon Haven. It's got a, it, it always is, these places, like. Yeah, they really are. Because there's so many bridges, they can, they can nest under the bridges, can't they, quite quietly? Yeah. Oh, look. Can you see this kind of uh, arch brick structure? Yeah. We've seen this before, have we? In uh, Bradford. Yeah. So, they laid across, uh, you know, iron cast beams with the size of them. And then in between, they put the arch brick. Jesus Christ, this is a... Uh, I mean... Yeah, yeah, quite of a... You know, this would be a job to get to get someone with a chainsaw, you know, and... Yeah? Let it all... Let it all, uh, uh, you know... Take all the rubbish out of it, huh? I mean, it doesn't seem to cause a big problem, but I don't know. But eventually, though. Right. That's modern. That is, yeah. Very modern. Got them on the other side. No. Uh, some fixings, are they? Yeah. Were they used for some utility? Not sure. Cables or I don't know. Yeah, probably cables. But it's quite old. Looks like an old mill. Always windows. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the warmen are demolishing the. The mill, there's quite a lot of mills around here, so it's all very industrial. Yeah. It should be interesting, man. Let's have a look around there. This is much of yeah. But the guy was like, yeah, yeah, you're going for the for the river walk. He nailed it. He knew, yeah. <laughs> uh, Well, it's going to get interesting, I can see already. Oh, definitely. Nice bits over there. The old industrial brick there. And the local sandstone also that's been cut into blocks. This is all local sandstone. When I was driving here, I could see, we're kind of in a gorge, are we? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the walls, you can see the natural, the original rock face, yeah, which yeah. is sandstone, basically. Sandstones apparently original from ancient riverbeds. Of course, yeah. I think around millions this, of years ago. Yeah, if yeah. I'm right, around this area it should be around 200 million years. Yeah. Uh, the age of the ancient riverbeds. I like it the way you can see the layers in it, and then sometimes you get the pebbles. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and this riverbed originated from the wearing of the Scottish mountains apparently, because the Scottish mountains, the Scottish mountains are like the oldest in the world. Yeah, yeah. And they would have been like. Are taller than the Everest, actually. Of course. Uh, so yeah.
trees growing on the side of the building. Yeah, I know. Look at this. <laughs> I know, you just look at it, it's like nature does take over, yeah, you know. Really I mean, you give, you give this no human maintenance whatsoever for another thousand years and it'd be like a forest of trees. Yeah. I mean, they have the water, so they are going to thrive. That's, that, that, you could, that was obviously a platform on the side yeah. of where this building was. Oh, of course. Did you see it? Yeah. yeah. That would have been like... I don't know where oh, it Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a platform there, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some Accrington brick down there as well. Well, you can see the back end of it. Accrington brick. That's the same brick as the Medlock, isn't it? Was it the same? Yeah. It was Accrington, yeah, was it? So, yeah. yeah, because we are near, actually, the, the Medlock. Is it Accrington? Not the Medlock, we're not saying that. No, the River Medlock, was it? In the Manchester. Med yeah, that's got the yeah. uh, Atkinson brick in it, yeah. Duro. Yeah. All sorts, isn't it? Yeah. Something electric. I was going to say electric something. Yeah. It might have been electric avenue. So, we're going to go under this. Uh, bridge section. It seems to go on under a mill. Is it G? Yeah. You see it? Wow, that's very old. Bloody hell. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. G. Donny. Yeah. I know. Of all the things, of all the things to see a letter on, it's on a stone. Oh G. yeah. Yeah. So obviously this would have been some sort of block, square stone, but it's been worn away over over tens and tens, uh, dozens and dozens of years, probably hundred years or more, I would say. Yeah, it was a brick, was it? You can see the flat surface yeah, of one. Yeah. But it's a very, very old brick. So it is. Clip for a GoPro. For it a is, GoPro. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I'll be using that. No. Right, onwards. so onwards that way. Oh my God, I can see a lot going on there already. This is cool. It's mega industrial this. So here we have. You can have, you can see the key stones from an original arch that have been covered. Wow. So that's the original keystone. And there would have been a passage or a culvert, I would imagine, feeding into the mill. A lot of these mills, they needed the water from the river, so the water would have been diverted this way into the grounds of the mill. I would imagine once the mill was disused, then they break this up to stop water diverting away for no reason. Maybe avoiding flood as well in the mill area, but so interesting. Uh, so this is part of the actual sewage system as we've seen at the beginning of the video. We got a bit of a Abandoned. Shall we have a quick look here? It would be rude not to, would it? Yeah. Looks like the graffiti is paradise. Right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much all the old graffiti. But uh, it's going to give us a different perspective. There's, a, there's some kind of base, well, it goes down, it's filled with rubbish, this. We're not going to go. Mm -hmm. 
this is a part of the old mill that we have seen. There's a lot going on, man. Uh, this is an abandoned building here. I would imagine a, a mill as well. Can you see another stone arch that was there originally? Yeah. I noticed yeah, the lower that. one, but there you can see a higher it's one. Soup, yeah. That's interesting. That doesn't go anywhere, that does it? No. So that you had a look in there. You had a piece yeah, blocked up, yeah. right? And uh, and here is the building, all uh, bricked up. I don't think we're going to bother with this, are we? Let's go back. <coughs> We're going to follow uh, the river upstream and uh, no doubt there's going to be a lot more exciting stuff to be found. It's difficult in here. <laughs> See you in a bit guys. <laughs> so we are right under the the old mill factory and uh, it was all supported with cement as we can see here but on the side walls we have the original uh, foundations for this culvert which it was built with the local gridstone Oh wow, it's, uh, it's quite nice in front of us. <coughs> we can see some... Uh, like a weir. Yeah. Touch, touch that one again. Yeah, it's not doing much there, is it? It's, it's, prop, it's proper rusted way that. I'd be surprised if... Uh, I don't think they use this pipe anymore. I can't see it. Would it, would it be on the original utility pipe for the, for the mill? Luxurious spot yeah. for a little chill. Go for it. We'll be back in a second. Well, Danny's made it across. I'm gonna try. Oh god, this goes low. So this would have been an outflow from the mills, I would imagine. You know, to discharge some of the yeah, wastewater after they use it. It goes, but it goes very low, nasty. 
give that a miss. Oh! Slippy this. Yeah, it's quite slippery. We always find a football, there it is. There's the football. Every time. Oh. There's the Nestle uh, factory. All right, yeah. So it wasn't that one back there. But you said before that you rather report that back in time they did have a Nestle factory. I think so, yeah. And I think it might have been the one back there, but obviously that's the modern one. Yeah, that's the modern one. Still going, that. Wow, it's uh, it's big. We're gonna we're gonna film when we get closer to it. God, the outflow there is absolutely mad. It's melting out, isn't it? Yeah. Which makes me think that's the way on, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Is that the way on? Yeah, this is just a way. Yeah, this board tells you a bit about a history. They had some. Uh, water wheels which would power all the machines in the mills of course. so it says the Hevel brook flowing besides the Hevel trial was vital to the success of Halifax as a manufacturing town mills have existed along the brook from the 1500s in the 1800s two water-powered mills stood next to the Hevel brook near waterside in 1873 a sawmill known as water lane mill stood next to the Hevel brook as its junction with water lane. This mill was powered by a water wheel. Over the years, buildings on this side have been altered and rebuilt and have had different uses, but a water wheel remained attached to them until the 1920s. No way. It's a shame it's not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, the water from, from the river, Hevel, was powering the water wheels and the mills. Yeah. Right. This is what you call a sluice gate. <clears throat> yep. So they would have had a handle here, turning this, turning the, the cog, and this the sluice gate would have come down or up, depending if they needed water flow here or not into the river. So this is the point where we got to before that we decided we're not gonna climb more but the waterfall the water flow coming out is quite powerful and there's no grip so we gotta do it safe so we're gonna try to find a way down to bypass this I think straight away looks very easy I think we're up to the end don't we yeah there we go anything yeah chocolate chocolate oh, oh, it's uh, oh the the smell of chocolates in the air, we got uh, the oh, Nestle wow. factory right there. And the air is saturated, is saturated with, the, with the smell of roasting coca beans. It's, oh, it's most delightful. Oh, beautiful. Chocolatey, not, oh, like, it reminds oh. me of, of the hot chocolate my mom used to make with 70% uh, yeah, coca yeah, beans. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and cream, it's like, oh. Gorgeous. I think we'll have to go for a hot chocolate after Oh my god, this is, gave, this is giving us craving for chocolate, definitely. Yeah, we'll have a hot chocolate after this. I'm expecting that to be like Willy Wonka's in there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that smell was delightful. Really right. Amazing. That'd be my fault, then it goes to shit. Oh! God, oh, that does go to shit. It's a shame. Goes to where? Oh, can you not smell that shit? Oh! oh. So Ooh. this is... Wow, I've not changed. My fishing spot is where that smell is. It's like a... That chocolate smell. This, yeah. this is like complete sensory 
punch in the face. <laughs> it really was. It oh, and now, and now I can smell sweet and chocolate, but then you yeah. can smell shit. Ah. <laughs> it makes you rebel, doesn't it? So, soon, soon after the chocolate bypass, shall we call it? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a good name? Yeah. Chocolate bypass. Chocolate bypass. Soon yeah. after the chocolate bypass, we found a way back on the ground. That's what we like to see. We're going to follow the river upstream on the ground, see what we find. That's what you call a silver tunnel. Wow, that's thick. It goes, but... You fancy a crawl onto it? No. <laughs> and some knees, all that. <laughs> Be alright. It says there 600, 600 watt, 18 oh, yeah. down the wall. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't try to indicate the length of that tunnel, I don't know. Possibly, yeah. We're not gonna do it. Right. Oh, it's very drafty. And I can see daylight ahead. So, let's keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off camera until we see a change in the tunnel structure. Uh, this, this culvert floor is fairly uneven, is it? Very uneven. Yeah. So we're coming out of the brick, we're going on cement with two inlets or outlets, it depends which way you look at it. And we are into concrete where spiders seem to be having a, a right good time here. Maker's mark. That's a maker's mark, is it? Yeah, I think so. MH, yeah, it's got to be. You can see all sorts of marks here. Yeah, and then and then. So, so they can were they paid. the makers? The yeah, the size of these fellas, eh? Coming up today, like just around the corner. I'm back into darkness. Nice. I think we're in the COVID section known as Spy Man. Pipe Mare, I said Nightmare, but Pipe Mare. Interesting name. Wow, it's nice to see the old uh, arches as well. There must have been a rail line going over this. I, I wonder yeah. if it's still active. Uh, 
lot of old rusty piping that's not in use anymore obviously the name pipe man that's what hands all these pipes now look at this yeah obviously it was some sort of utility piping that is not in use anymore yeah but they, they must have had some industrial purpose obviously and now there's some markets Middlesbrough Middlesbrough England you see Dorm and Long and Co Limited, Middlesbrough, England. So they were the makers of these uh, steel beams that are still standing here. It's cool, I like it. Look at the grease on that, man. The grease. Very greasy. This, there was some sort of uh, utility utility cable in here obviously because that they would have had cables coming out I'm sure yeah yeah and then fed along there yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course yeah yeah this was for utility cables and look along here as well so we're running along different directions depending on where the cables were going it makes sense if you're gonna if you're gonna have some sort of utility main cables tunnels whatever it all it must be on the ground out of sight that's where the smells coming from that sewer bit ah yeah i can see it yeah i can see the sewer the entrance tunnel straight yeah, away yeah. We're going to take a closer look in a bit. And the smell here is quite uh, aggressively nasty of uh, sewer. So. We can smell it right over there. We're going to take a closer look at it. Some daylight through that tunnel, but it's all kind of crawly. That is got to be the sewer. So that's definitely connecting with the sewer system. That absolutely. Well, it's not too bad when you get close. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That's a bit unpleasant. Woo! With Jake, the purpose of this corner structures, concrete stone structures it's probably it's probably stone that was has been lined with concrete and it's obviously you know the functionality of it it does strengthen the integrity of the wall plus possibly we've been saying that it might reduce the the water flow because when the water hits the side here it kind of speaks spins back around so it's gonna the yeah. Speed of the water, yeah, as slows the speed of the water, and there's several of them on this on this very straight run. Yeah, which it would make sense to put them on the straight it's run. Like a it's forcing the water like that. Yeah, that yeah, zig yeah. Zigzag if you want, because they're not uh, exactly parallel. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So it hits that one. It hits that, hits that exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it would pick up speed on the straight. Yeah. 
Right, and we have a <coughs> we have a column here that's uh, standing on its own. So they must they must have had a walk bridge at some point, I would imagine. Like a little walk bridge. I don't know, but uh, it looks cool. A trolley has just uh, met its final destiny here. Well, wow, it's very sunny, it's lovely, man. So we're coming to a section that's it's got some stunning brick arching in between the rusting steel beams and here here we have a section with uh, several columns as well supporting this all right you can see what's happened here it's begun to collapse so they probably thought about you know shoring it up with the columns yeah is that a Peugeot the front no of a, the front of a Peugeot oh, yeah it is We back out and uh, we checked on our maps. No doubt we going to be going back under on the ground. Hey, oh, let's have a look. What does that say? I've never seen one like this. No, I haven't. Joseph Brook and Sons. It's awesome. Industrial heritage everywhere remind us of what this area was all about. This car's there. Oh, yeah. But the height of this, uh, it would have been a rail. Yeah, it looks like a railway line. A railway line on top of this. Oh dear. What's that? That looks inviting, doesn't it? Oh yeah. wow, get that. So straight ahead, goes back underground and we can see waterfalls. That looks very inviting. Uh, hopefully we can get up. It looks quite a high waterfall, that. It does. Like it's five, six foot, no, five foot. We'll see. Alright, we'll find out. We've got to see what uh, what's that all about. <laughs> 